here is our LPKF S62 uh, printing machine, uh, milling machine, and uh, the control computer next to it. And you can see the little vacuum cleaner behind there. Um, just got a little video that I'm uh, putting together, uh, milling out a board for a student. And uh, just this is just the overall shot showing the machine and the computer. So first thing you want to do is uh, open up the Circuit Cam program. And on the top left hand side uh, is the import layers option and assuming that the uh, student has correctly created the Gerber files uh, we get our students to use the Eaglesoft software because it's free and um, it's adequate for most of the jobs they need to do. So you get the Gerber file, you import the layers and <coughs> This is the uh, one of the boards that I had to make today, so all the layers have been imported, and I've I've done the contour routing, which is this big thick yellow track on the outside, with uh, tabs on the sides, and insulate all layers. And then after that, the bottom icon down the corner here on the left hand side, just above the middle, is export to Boardmaster. So you basically got to have the Boardmaster program running, um, and then you can export it. Uh, which is what I've done here, so you can see that that's gone across. Now when you originally export it, it comes up in the middle. Now, there's a couple of other details that I'd like to explain about this uh, view here. So there's a dark grey rectangle. Uh, this is set up in the uh, configuration tab right at the top. It's configuration and you can set the lower and upper corner of the uh, PCB board. Uh, this sets up the perimeter uh, that basically your design has to fall within and also you can put the thickness of the board there as well. Uh, the second thing is this uh, dark rectangle here. These are the fiducial holes. So when we first got our machine we had a uh, file called fiducial which was basically one single fiducial hole. Fiducial holes in case you didn't know are drilled out in the board and they are used when you flip the board over it helps you re uh, align the milling machine exactly correct so that the tracks mill out exactly around the correct locations. So when you go to Fiducial you just set the count to 2x2 two two and set the uh, width on the x-axis to about 290 and the height to about 100 millimeters and the offset is about 3 millimeters on the x-axis and uh, mine is 50 on the y-axis. I can go into that. If I have any inquiries, I can go into that more later. Uh, then you basically get your um, your design. And I've placed it in this corner here roughly, and I'll show you why. So you go to the next shot. So this is the board, and as you can see, there's already it's already been used. There's a couple of sections that have been already cut out. So the, the trick is to just identify and clearly outline the usable space here. Now I'd like to point out the fiducial holes. This one actually has two sets. So what I find is I usually drill out a new set of fiducial holes for each board that I make. So there are four four boards taken out and I can see two sets of fiducial holes. Um, so in the next picture I've just measured out um, where I'm going to put this board and if you go up here you can see that if I click on that board and right click on it you can see the uh, per the specifications of the board and that means the displacement in the x-axis which is 162 centimeters and the height which is 102 centimeters uh, sorry not centimeters millimeters 160 millimeters 102 millimeter millimeters so basically this outline that I've drawn out here is uh, is those dimensions <coughs> And you've got to allow for the uh, two millimeter wide uh, track that's going to be cut out by the contour router to get that board out. So I've spaced that correctly. Um, so here's the view. Uh, basically, I've started uh, doing the milling out layer. So basically, when you choose it, you go. It, it's just not visible here. I'll show you where it is. Okay. That's showing on the cutting outside, but actually if you click on that tab, you can do uh, mi milling top, etc. But I'll just backtrack a little bit. You can see how I'm using the camera here to 
uh, help align this board exactly to the corner of that line. So basically I've got the camera lined up over those crosshairs. Uh, so just ignore what I said about milling out the tracks yet, that we haven't got to that yet. So I've used the camera to line up where that line is there and you can see it there and you can adjust it with these arrows going left and right up and down. Uh, I've just changed it to one millimeter so I get reasonably fine control. And then I just uh, zoomed in so you can go view zoom area so I zoomed in there about this area here and then I've uh, used this function up here uh, which is it's got two squares with two lines connecting connecting together if you click on that and then you click on the uh, board and you have to be careful because if it can actually pick up the judicial hole template instead but basically I've clicked on that and I've dragged it across to align with the uh, that uh, position of the mill head uh, so that's done and now I've gone ahead and I've selected uh, milling bottom and um, and you can see the milling heads at work they're cutting out the tracks now incidentally something you should always do before you do this is to do a test cut uh, off to the side of the board uh, basically you move the milling head with this up and down arrow thing here to the side of the board and you start it up with this button here and you lower it down and then you use this one here directionally to cut about 5 mil and then what you do is you go to uh, go to and in go to you can uh, select move camera to head and then you can use this camera view here to check the track width that you've just cut not the width of the track but the width of the cut and it should be uh, 0 0.2 mils um, <coughs> so moving down here uh, now that's done now so I've done that and I've also drilled out the old holes and that may require some change out of some tools to do that and uh, then after that's done you've got to flip the board upside down so uh, so I've um, selected mill top layer so it's flipped over the graphics here in the computer program and you can see here the brightness is a bit higher in this uh, visual here but uh, you select um, a line top layer and the machine moves the camera head around to close to where that judicial hole has been drilled and it's up to you to manually align those crosshairs directly over the judicial hole and you do that to all four holes and then basically then the machine knows exactly where to cut those tracks correctly and after that you can select mill top layer now you'll notice that the vacuum clean if you have the vacuum uh, uh, um, table attachment it will start during this phase and it will keep running during this phase and so there it is it's uh, milling the top you can see here milling top and by the way it highlights the um, tracks of two different colors in this case the milling top is a you've got dark red and light red now dark red just represents the track that it's cut and light, repre light red represents the track that it still has to cut and now um, <clears throat> basically this is the final product so we've got milling top and then you've got uh, cutting outside which is also done uh, before you can finally uh, lift the board out and this is the uh, shots of the two sides of the board the finished product and that's it for my little slideshow thank you for your attention